Welcome to this tutorial on introduction to R Studio. In this tutorial, you will learn about these features of R Studio: source and console windows, workspace, plots, and files window. How to install packages of R. To understand this tutorial, you should know elementary maths. Basic commands of R. If not, please locate the relevant tutorials on R on this website. This tutorial is recorded on Ubuntu Linux operating system version 16.04, R version 3.2.3, R Studio version 1.1.456. Install R version 3.2.0. Or higher. Let us switch to R Studio. The window in the top left corner is the source window. It is used to edit a script and run it. The window in the bottom left corner is the console window. It is used to install packages or to run a particular command. The upper right window is the workspace window. It stores all the variables used during execution of commands under the Environment tab. Place your cursor on the inside edges of all the windows. A four-headed arrow symbol appears. You can drag this to resize your windows for better visibility. Let us declare some variables. In the console, type test sample capital S. Space less than symbol followed by hyphen space c. Now in parenthesis, type one comma two comma three comma four. Press enter to execute this line. You can see the variable test sample in the environment window. The lower right window is the plots and files window. The files tab is used to keep track of working directories. We will learn more about working directory later in this series. The plots tab shows all the graphical output. Let us plot the variable test sample. In the console, type plot test sample capital S in parenthesis. Press enter. You can now see the plot in the plots window. Let us look at the environment window in the upper right corner. We will clear this variable in this window. At the top of the environment window, click on the broom icon. A confirm remove objects window appears. Ensure that the box include hidden objects is checked and click on yes. Now there is no variable in the environment. Click in the plots window and click on the broom icon. A clear plots text box appears. The text reads, "Are you sure you want to clear all of the plots in the history?" Click yes. Now let us try plotting this variable again. In the console, again type plot test sample in parenthesis as before. Press Enter. No plot is generated. Instead, we see error in plot test sample. Object test sample not found. It means that the variable test sample has been removed from our workspace. So you should be careful with this broom icon in the environment window. Next to environment, the history tab stores all our actions. Here we can see the lines that have been executed so far. Let us declare two variables, first where and second where, which will be used later. In the console, type first capital V A R space less than symbol followed by hyphen space six. Press enter. 
नेक्स्ट टाइप सेकेंड कैपिटल वी ए आर स्पेस लेस देन सिंबल फॉलोड बाय हाइफन स्पेस एट प्रेस एंटर आवर कॉन्सोल विंडो इज फिल्ड विद द प्रीवियस कमांड्स वी नीड टू क्लीन द कॉन्सोल बिफोर मूविंग ऑन क्लिक इन द कॉन्सोल विंडो एंड प्रेस कंट्रोल एल टूगेदर क्लिकिंग ऑन द ब्रूम आईकॉन in the upper right corner of the console will also clear it to see this icon place the cursor under the maximizer button of the console window you will see a hand symbol and the text clear console control l packages in r r packages are a collection of r functions compiled code and sample data stored under a directory called library in the r environment by default r installs a set of packages let us switch back to r studio now click on the environment tab again to see the list of r packages installed in your system in the console type library parenthesis press enter a tab named r packages available opens up in source window let us install a new package named mas please make sure that you are connected to the internet in the console window type install dot packages now mas inside double quotes in parenthesis press enter we will need to wait until r installs the package there is another way to install a package let us install another package named ggplot2 in the top menu bar of r studio click on the tools button from the drop down menu select the install packages option in the packages field type the name of the package ggplot2 ensure that install dependencies box is checked and click on the install button to load a package we use library function and provide the package name as an argument we will load the mass package now in the console window type library mass in parenthesis and press enter now we will use fractions function available in the mass package in the console window type f r a c t r studio shows the fractions option press enter to select it you can use this feature while typing commands only remember that r is case sensitive after fractions type in parenthesis first where division slash second where press enter you can see the reduced fraction 3 divided by 4 in the console in the console we can also type first where division slash second where it gives the result in decimal form this brings us to the end of this tutorial let us summarize We have learned about source and console windows, workspace, plots and files window, how to install packages of R. We now suggest an assignment. Install plyr plyr package and load it. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops. using spoken tutorials and give certificates please contact us do you have questions in this spoken tutorial choose the minute and second where you have the question explain your question briefly someone from the fossi team will answer them please visit this site do you have any general or technical questions please visit the forum given in the link the fossi team coordinates coding of solved examples of popular books 
We give honorarium and certificates for those who do this. For more details, please visit these sites. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. This script has been contributed by Sheikh, Fossey Fellow 2018, and Sudhakar from Fossey Project. This is Vidya Ayer from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.